this one. We can go there. What's up, Bailey? How's it going? Let me get this thing settled. Uh, check on that. That's good. I'm going to unmute you. How have you been doing today? Uh, good. Good? Awesome. Awesome. Uh, can you hear me okay? See me okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, perfect. Just checking. Did you do anything last weekend for Easter? Any special Easter -y things? Uh, should go on Easter hunt? Um, a little, I think. Little? Awesome. Any Easter egg hunts? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool beans. Those are always very fun. And then, um, what was it? Two nights ago, it was a big storm. Everybody okay? Are you guys, did you guys have a big rainstorm at your house? Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good deal. Good job remembering your manners. <laughs> I know we're not in the academy, so it's hard to remember. But I like the yes, sirs. Keep that going. Uh, what'd you do today? Anything special at all? Mm, no, sir. Did we work? Okay. Are you doing online schoolwork? Do you have to do things for school? Uh, I did schoolwork. You did schoolwork? Do you go on the computer or is it papers? Um, papers. Papers. Okay. Some of the students are doing papers and other students are going on the computer to do their work. So I didn't know which one you were doing. Both. A little both. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Awesome. Well, we got about 10 minutes till class starts. We won't need anything special for class today. So if you have your pad or pillow, you'll be set. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Have you seen that trick before? Where you take your finger off? <laughs> How do you do that? You want me to teach you? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll teach you this magic trick you can show your friends, all right? So you have your hand. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our first finger and we're just gonna bend it like that. So my finger is still attached, it's still good. It's just kind of bent like that, okay? okay? All right, so we got that part down. We're just gonna keep that frozen, so don't move it. With your other hand, what you're gonna do is you're going to take, kind of like you put your thumb in and then put your first finger over, can I see how your thumb bends? Put it right over that bend. That's a little hard, it requires a little dexterity, finger dexterity. That's not too tough once you got it. So now it looks like if I angle my finger, kind of looks like I can put it on and take it off a little bit. But really it's just my thumb over there. So kind of make sure, the trick is making sure it's really lined up or as best as you can, lined up. 
put it on camera. I'm gonna try to do this on camera. And then you can kind of take it apart and put it back together. You had it in makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry, you'll get it. I, I think the easier one as a kid is just to have your thumb up and you bring your hand by and you just snatch the finger off and then you just put it back. <laughs> That's pretty easy. You can do that one too. <laughs> hmm. So when you're not busy with schoolwork, I know you've been at home a lot. Have you been, um, what do you like to do? Do you play video games? Do you read books? Do you go outside? What do you like to do when you're not doing school or martial arts? What do you like to do for fun? What do you do when you're done with your work in the morning? Um, don't look at me. What do you play. like to do? I was asking, you don't have to look for mom. There's no right answer. What do you like? Mm, playing. What do you play playing. with? Please. What kind of toys? Um, Legos and dolls. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. That's that's pretty cool. I actually just donated all my toys. <laughs> I have all my toys from when I was a kid. I was saving them for a long time, and I just gave them away. So I don't have any of those toys anymore to play with because I gave them all to kids who don't have toys and stuff. But I was never a huge Lego person. Um, I play with some Legos though. Are you really good with Legos? Do you, what do you like to make, like really big houses and stuff? Or what's the coolest thing you've ever made with Legos? Uh, well, I made a house by myself, but it didn't have a roof. I just made it. It's oh, like... Okay. Balls and you know, I just made it by God. Hey, that's yeah. pretty cool. Some houses don't have roofs, you know. I mean, maybe I don't know. I think all houses have roofs. <laughs> uh, what did you to do today? Well, I had to take my dad to the airport in Atlanta. So I woke up really early this morning. I drew all the way up there, drew all the way back. And about the, then it was about lunchtime, so I ate lunch. And I came here and started teaching. <laughs> yeah. That's busy. A little busy, but it was okay. I wasn't too bad. And this will be my third class, and I got two more classes after. And then I'll go home and I'll cook dinner. Because Colton loves to cook. What's for dinner for you? For me, for dinner for me, I think tonight I'm going to have uh, some grilled fish and pasta. Um. Well, today for us, we have tacos. Ooh, that sounds good. Chicken tacos, beef, fish. What do you, what's in the tacos? Um, we only have tacos because beef. um we beef and cheese with it. Um, um. But we always call it Tacos Tuesday. Awesome. That's super fun. What's your favorite food in the world? What's your favorite food thing to eat? And tacos and fruit and pizza. <laughs> gotcha. Awesome. I think pizza's probably up there on my favorite list as well. I like tacos too, but I don't think they quite make the list. Pizza makes the list for sure. <laughs> It might just be me and you today. We got four minutes and still no one's showed up. So we might have a private lesson. That'd be pretty awesome. That would be cool. Do you eat fish? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm having fish tonight. I think I'm gonna have, I think uh, salmon is what I set out. So we're gonna have grilled salmon and we're gonna have some pasta. Super simple, uh, not spaghetti. It's gonna be like, a, it's called uh, pasta de olio, which is basically noodles, salt, Pepper, garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, super simple. <laughs> I don't eat fish. You don't eat fish? Oh, do you not like fish? Are you allergic to fish or? I don't like fish. You don't like fish? I, it's kind of weird. I don't like some fish. I like salmon. I like all sushi. Have you ever had sushi before? If you don't like fish, you probably won't like sushi. I like sushi. 
more than I like cooked fish. It's weird. It's kind of whoosh, crisscross. Hmm. But I know a lot of kids that don't like fish. They don't like any type of fish. They don't like salmon or tilapia or grouper or shrimp or anything. Oh, there we go. We got somebody else. We got Mackay joining. Three minutes till. So I know you say you don't like fish. Are there any other foods like you just don't like? What's up, Mackay? How's it going? Do you have any foods, any vegetables, any, you know, anything else you just like, ugh, gross? Squash. Squash. Okay. I can kind of see that. I wasn't a fan of squash growing up. It's kind of weird. It's like the outside's hard, but the inside is mushy. It's kind of weird. Um, I think cucumbers. Cucumbers? I don't like cucumbers. I don't like cucumbers, and I don't like pickles. A lot of people like pickles. I don't like pickles. Pickles still good. <laughs> well, you know cucumbers are make pickles, right? I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Pickles are made from cucumbers. You take cucumbers and you put them. There's a couple different ways you can do it, but usually it's uh, either salt water or vinegar. You put it in a jar, nice and tight, and you just put it in the shelf for a long time, and the cucumber kind of breaks down, absorbs everything, and it becomes uh, the cucumber turns into a pickle. I like it a little. I mean, like once in a while. Um, mm. It's only pickles. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, all right. We've got some more students around the class. Bailey, I'll put you on a quick mute. It was very good talking to you. I just want to check with the other students really quick before class starts. Makai, how's it going today, man? How you doing? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Cool, I can hear you too. Uh, are you having a good day so far? Yes. Did you do anything fun today? No. Okay, are you okay? You're very short answer today. Yes, yes, no. No manners, no explanation. Are you in a good mood today or a bad mood today? All I do is just watch TV all day. All you do is watch TV? Okay, well I was just checking on you, but I wanted to see what type of day you were having and everything like that. Do you have any favorite TV shows or anything like that? You like to watch any cartoons or anything like that? No. No favorites? Okay, fair enough. Well, we're gonna start class right now. It's 4.30. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. What's up, Emma? How are you doing? You look very cheery today. Nice to see you. Hello, Mateo. Good to see you also. What's up, man? We're gonna go ahead and start class, all right? So I want everybody to stand up for me, please. Pop up, pop up, pop up. Good. Get this super tall as well. Boom, boom. And make sure this doesn't fall back. Perfect. Okay. So let's start class. Everyone's nice and tall. And attention. We're going to start with our student creed. Our student creed. All right. So I want you to repeat after me. Push hold so tall. I got to make this thing even taller. One second. There it is. I develop myself physically and mentally based on the black belt spirit. I will only fight to protect my life and the lives of others. I will achieve my fullest potential in developing knowledge, honesty, and strength. Ski. Oh, awesome job, everyone. Now I'll kind of put this camera back down and we can get started on our super awesome warm up today. Super awesome warm up. Oh, I didn't say sit down. You guys are getting lazy on me. Pop back up, pop back up. We're staying, standing up. All right, you might have confused because I'm moving the camera down. So we're going to start some 10 jumping jacks today. 10 jumping jacks. Ready, set, begin. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Great job. We're going to go feet wide. Hands on the lapel. We're going to knock out ten body squats. Now make sure you don't cheat on these. I want you to bend those knees all the way until your elbows touch your knees and then pop back up. So no little squats. I want big warrior squats. Ready? And one. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. 
four, sir. Five, five, sir. Six, six, sir. Seven, seven, sir. Eight, eight, sir. Nine, nine, sir. And ten, ten, sir. Awesome job. Now we're going to call Frankenstein. We're going to put our arms like we're a zombie. We're going to go, uh, brains. Uh, brains. No, just kidding. We're going to be right here. What we're going to do is we'll take our leg. We're going to kick our leg all the way up to our toes, just like that. And that's going to be one. And then when you're the other side, that's going to be two. Try, don't drop your hands down. Don't be lazy. Keep those hands up tall. Really kick those legs up. Not too tall. Just kind of out here, zombie. Ready? And one. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Five, sir. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven, sir. Eight, eight, sir. Nine, nine, sir. And ten, ten, sir. Awesome. I want everyone to drop down to their knees, ready to do some push ups. We're going to do a special type of push up today. I'm going to show you the type of push up I want to do today. It's a little different than a normal push up. These are called dive bomber push ups, all right? So, what you think about airplane? Sometimes you might see like airplanes that do tricks and they'll. Oh, it's like a Dylan joint. Airplanes that do tricks, the airplanes will be flying and they'll go down super low, like you think they're gonna crash into the ground, but right at the last second they turn and they come back up. That's gonna kind of be like our dive bomber push up. So, what we're gonna do for a dive bomber push up, we're gonna have our hands close together, but our feet are gonna be wide apart. So, you see, my hands are close, my feet are wide. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swoop down like that airplane about to touch the ground. My nose is not gonna to touch the ground, it's almost going to but then I'm gonna swoop back up. So everybody watch me really quick. I swoop down, and then I come back up. So I'm kind of doing, watch from the side. I'm kind of swooping down, here. And I come back up. All right, we're gonna do 10 of those, 10 of those. Everybody get ready? Hands close, feet wide. And one, one, sir, two, Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Five, sir. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven, sir. Oh, you guys are watching me. You guys doing them really good. Ready? Eight. Eight, sir. I'm doing them. I'm trying to see if you guys are doing them. Ready? Nine. Nine, sir. Make that nose almost touch the ground. Your nose should almost touch the ground. You should smell your floor. Ready and 10. 10, sir. Nice, everyone smell like a black belt. Good job, good job. We're gonna start stretching really quick. We're gonna have one leg out, one leg in, reaching down, trying to touch our toes. Reaching far. Good work. Thank you, parents, for all the help with the cameras and everything. It is very appreciated. Unsung heroes, you guys, thank you so much for all the help. If the warm up made you tired, make sure you're breathing. Deep breaths. Emma's got a nice little doggo helping over the stretching, coming to visit. All right. And switch, other side, other foot, reaching down, touching our toes. What's up, Mr. Dylan? I hope you're having a good day today, dude. Good to see you. Okay. What's up, bud? I'll, I'll, during our work, I'll unmute you so I can talk to you really quick. I have everyone muted right now. Go ahead, feet together, butterfly. We're going to bring our feet in, moving our knees down. One leg out, a leg over the top, twisting, 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 twisting. Plus our half pretzel. Now make sure, look at me really quick. If I have my right knee up, I wanna to turn to the right. So whichever leg is up, you're gonna to turn to that leg, okay? That makes sense? 
So Emma, keep your legs frozen. Exactly, and twist the other way. Very good. Awesome. So Mateo, good, yep. Yeah. Okay, awesome, thank you, thank you. Good work, and now we're going to switch. So we're gonna switch everything. Other leg down, other leg up, looking the other way. Everything's flip-flop now. Okay, Makai, make sure, yeah, make sure we set this leg over the top. Good, nice, good, good, good. All right, last one's gonna be a rocking chair, also called a roly-poly. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hug my legs nice and tight. I'm gonna make sure I put my chin down. If you're on a hard floor like me, you shouldn't be hitting your head on the ground. I'm just gonna rock nice and slow, back and forth, back and forth. If you're close to the wall or close to the couch, you might wanna scoot up a little bit, okay. Good job. So if I scoot forward a little bit, you'll see my head is not touching the ground. I should not be bonking my head at all. Very good. Now here's our flexibility challenge today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put our hands on our head. And this time when we rock back, we're gonna have a little bit of a pillow from our hands. And we're gonna try and make our feet touch the floor by our head. So I'm gonna roll back and make my feet touch the floor by my head. I'm gonna freeze right here. Can anybody, can anybody do that? You're hard to hear me. Can anybody do that? Roll all the way back and put your feet down. Try it, ready, go, go, go. Hold, 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 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Sit back up. Great job, everyone, great work, all righty. Here's what we're gonna do. Great warm up, great stretching, good job. We're going to get our first water break today. Make sure we're not running to the house. On count of three, we're gonna grab a drink of water. When we come back, we're gonna start on our moves for today, all right? So let's do a water break on three. One, two, three. Water break, go, go, go. I want you back here really fast. Okay. Dylan's not leaving for water. Let's unmute Dylan really quick so I can talk to him. What what's up, Dylan? How's it going, dude? We're good. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm glad to see you. I hadn't seen you in a little bit. Are you staying at home a lot and everything? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Okay, cool. What have you been doing? Oh, nice. That's cool. That's cool. Did you have a fun weekend last weekend? Did you do anything for Easter? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yes, there, there was a there was a cat outside. There's a cat outside. Oh, I like cats. Some people are allergic though, so you have to be careful. All right. But it's good to see you. Thank you for using your manners. I'm gonna go ahead and remute you and because I think everyone's back and we're gonna start our drills. All right. So welcome back, everyone. Welcome back, uh, uh, Bailey, Mateo, Emma, Makai, Dylan. Today our word is discipline. I want everybody to say discipline. Discipline. Awesome. Okay. Now, who can raise their hand and tell me something about discipline? Who knows what discipline is? What's discipline? Who can tell me? Who knows? Does anyone know what discipline is? Makai raised his hand pretty fast. Let me go over to him. Makai, what is discipline? Um, it's kind of like um, you do something um, when nobody tells you. You do something good when nobody tells you to. Very good, yeah. That's the definition of self-discipline, you know? Sometimes people hear discipline, and it's, when they think about it, it's not a very fun thought. When they think about discipline, they think about getting in trouble, and that's not a good thing to think about. No one likes to get in trouble. Even when I was a kid, I got in trouble, right? But when we do what Makai said, we have good self-discipline. When we do the things we're supposed to do without anyone telling us to, that's a good way to stay out of trouble, all right? so. All martial artists try to have good self-discipline. So we're gonna have a little bit of a discipline stripe test later, discipline challenge, which I hope you guys are ready for. But first, we're gonna have some different discipline drills today, all right? So Makai really hit the nail on the head. Discipline's all about doing things when no one is watching. A bad student doesn't do the right thing when no one's watching. The bad student gets lazy, they cheat, 
They lied. They, they did all their homework. Maybe they didn't. A good student, even when mom and dad's not watching, they do all their homework. They do what they're supposed to do. They clean their room. They really did everything. So now I'm going to test your guys' as a discipline. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a drill called all four. I'm going to say all four. Very good. So everyone can stay sitting down. I'm just going to make this call so you can see me really quick. Here's all four. All four is basically a super big workout. All right. Now workouts make you really tired. And there's so much going on in all four. You could cheat. You could skip some stuff and Coach Colton wouldn't even know. Right. But even if I don't know, you would know. And that is kind of a guilty thought. Sometimes people try to go really fast and they cheat and they try to get to the finish line and they don't do everything. That's not the point of this drill. This drill is not a race. I want you to do all four things without skipping anything. Yes, sir. So here's all four things we have to do. When I say go, you're going to do 10 jumping jacks, 10 squats, 10 regular push-ups, not a push-up we did earlier, just regular ones, and then 10 sit-ups. Does everyone know what a sit-up is? Does anyone not know what a sit-up is? Does anyone even show it? Raise your hand if you may show what a sit-up is. Okay, all right. So I'll show a sit up really quick. A sit up, for a sit up, you lay down on the ground, your knees are up, your feet are close, you can't use your hands, and you have to sit up. So you kind of like a squat, want your elbows to touch your knees. So I sit up, I get my elbows to touch my knees, and then I sit back down. The only rule is I can't move my legs, and I can't use my arms to help me get up. This is all about our ab muscles, our tummy muscles helping us sit up, right? So you're gonna do 10 jumping jacks, 10 squats, and 10 sit-ups. And when you're done, you're gonna sit like a black belt. Now this is nothing martial arts. This is no martial arts moves. These are no punches, no kicks, no nothing fancy. These are just simple workouts. What I'm testing is your mind. I'm testing your self-discipline. Who's gonna do all 10 of everything and who's going to cut corners and just try and be the fastest one because they want to win? I'm looking to see who's honest. Everyone understand? All right, I have a question from Makai. Makai raised his hand really quick. Let's answer his question, and then we'll start the drill. Yes, sir, what's your question? I didn't have a question. Oh, I saw you raise your hand. I'm sorry. I must have saw incorrectly. All right, so everyone pop up. Everyone nice and tall. Very good. So we're going to do 10. Jumping jacks, 10 body squats, 10. Whoa, man overboard. Take that out real quick. Man overboard, all right. 10, 10 jumping jacks, 10 body squats, 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups on your own. You're not gonna wait for me to count. When I say go, you do all of them. When you're done, sit like a black belt. Ready, set. Go, 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 go. 10 jumping jacks, 10 squats, 10 sit-ups. No cheating. Who's going to do them all? Very good. Who's going to cheat and not do good push-ups? Who's going to cheat and not do good body squats? I'm watching. You know, behind the scenes view, I can have a huge TV. I can see everyone doing everything at the same time. There's no hiding, okay? But even still, like I'm not even looking who's going to cheat. Who's cheating right now? Anybody cheating? I don't think so. Looking who's doing good stuff. When you're done, sit like a black belt. Good. Bailey's doing some good body squats, making sure his elbows touch the knees. Makai's knocking out some black belt level push-ups. Good job, Makai. So is Mateo. Welcome, Par family. I see you, Judd. I see you, Ava. Or Aston, excuse me. Whichever. One in there is Miss Barnes. Awesome. Sit up. Sit ups are doing great. Getting those core muscles in there. And when you're done, sitting like a black belt. Finish strong, everyone. Finish strong. Excellent. Thank you, parents, again, for all the camera work and help with the sit-ups. Your help is much appreciated as always. Thank you so much. Good job, Judd. Nice sit-ups, bud. Mateo done, Makai's done. Okay. 
Finish strong. If you're not done, don't worry. Don't skip in. Take your time. Don't be pressured by what other people are doing. You do you. Do good reps, good reps. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Bailey is done. Nice, good work. Nice sit-ups. Awesome. And time. Excellent. Everyone's all done. Give yourself two hand claps. Awesome work, everyone. I was very proud of the work I saw. I saw everyone doing great body squats and really good push-ups. I have some older kids that can't do push-ups that good. They kind of do little teeny tiny push-ups. Everyone's doing a really good job of getting full extension on push-ups. Great, great work. Now we're gonna do our next drill. Our next drill is something a little bit different because it's kind of a game, it's kind of a drill. It's in between, all right? We've got two more drills to do, and then we're gonna go uh, for our stripe test and then our actual end of class game. This next thing I wanna do is a game of Coach Says. Now Coach Says, I think we've all played it. Who's played Coach Says? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you've played Coach Says before. Very good. Coach Says like Simon Says, but instead of saying Simon Says, I'm gonna say Coach Says. Rules are very simple. If I say coach says, do it. If I don't say coach says, don't do it. So now we're really doing our listening ears. Now, Coach Colton, why, how does coach says help us with our discipline? Well, coach says helps us with our discipline because right now it's perfect. Right now we're on screen. We can see everyone else on screen. And something coach says does is it makes you have a little bit of peer pressure. Who's heard that term before, peer pressure? Has anyone heard about peer pressure? Something they might tell you about in school. Okay. Peer pressure is when you get pressured by your peers. You think you know what you're doing is right. But all of a sudden you look over and maybe your friend's doing something different. Maybe someone else in your class doing something different. All of a sudden you think, oh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to do what they're doing. That's peer pressure. And just because someone else is doing it doesn't mean it's right. Yes, sir. Okay. Coach Colton always says, trust your heart, trust your gut, trust your instincts. Because our parents have taught us very good things, our teachers and our coaches have taught us very good things. If we trust ourselves, we can probably do a lot better than trusting the other person because we don't know what the other person is thinking. Maybe they're wrong. Maybe they're right, but maybe they're wrong. So when a game of coach says, if I say, attention, and I didn't say coach says, and you think, okay, I shouldn't do it. But then you look over and you see everyone else goes to attention and you copy them. Well, guess what? You just lost also. So don't just copy them because they're doing it. That doesn't mean it's right. Sometimes the only person that doesn't move is the person that's doing the right thing. Yes, sir? So we're going to play Coach Says now. And I'm not just going to do random stuff. I'm not going to just do jumps and sit down and stand up. I'm going to be using our martial arts moves. So we got to be on point. I'm going to be using our punches. I'm going to be using our kicks. I'm going to be using our stances. So we also have to have that martial arts knowledge. That's enough talking. Let's play Coach Says. Coach says, everyone stand up. Game's already started. I hope you guys are ready. Coach says, attention. And race dance. All right, right off the bat, I only had two students not fail. Good job, Bailey Ivory. Good job, Emma. I did not say coach says ready stance. I just said ready stance. So if you put your hands up, boom, you lost. We only do it when coach says, yes, sir. So make sure you can hear me, make sure you can see me, okay? But if I do it, am I trying to trick you? Listen to what I'm saying. Let's keep going though. Coach says, ready stance, kia. Coach says, jab brats, ish, ish. Coach says, jab brats. Ish, ish. Jump one time. Ooh, got you that time, Bailey. Got you that time. Okay, make sure we're listening. Coach says, jump one time. Coach says, jump two times. 
Coach says, stand like a black belt. Coach says, grappling stance. Ready stance. She'll still be down grappling stance. Coach says, ready stands. Yeah. Coach says, push kick. Good. Coach says, push kick. Coach says, jab, cross, push kick. Have a seat like a black belt. Ooh, okay. That was bad. Oh, don't you trick the last second. That was better. That was better. Give yourself two hand claps. Now I got everyone. I didn't say coach says give yourself two hand claps. I just said give yourself two hand claps. Ah, got everybody. Got everybody. Super ninja trick. All right. Coach says everyone's like a black belt. Okay. Coach says good job. Coach says good job. Coach says coach says it's over. Okay, good job, everyone. All right. Uh, now, for real, give yourself two hand claps. Bah, bah. So, we did our first two self discipline drills. We got one more drill to do. Then, we're going to do our stripe test, and then we have our game. This next drill is kind of like all four, but it's a little bit different. This drill is called three, six, nine. All right, three, six, nine. The way it's going to work is we're going to do a three move combination, we're going to do a six move combination. And then we're gonna do a nine move combination. And then we're gonna sit like a black belt. So there's a lot to remember there, okay? Who knows, before I go any further, does anyone know what a combination is? What's a combination? Hmm. All right, I got a hand up. Cursor Jai, let me unmute you. Yes, ma'am, what is a combination? Um, It's like a code or your code your power for your phone that's a very good answer that's not quite it, but that answer is not wrong a combination locker at school older you have a combination on your phone so that's correct but not when we're talking about martial arts let's go over to dylan what's a combination mean in martial arts i just said it i can hear you now dylan if, do you know the answer no, no. Okay, that's okay. Thank you for raising your hand though. All right, so a combination is when we put a lot of different punches and kicks together. So I always think about it when you go to a restaurant. Let's say we go to some, you know, fast food place, you know, we could go McDonald's, Burger King, whatever. If we get a combo, a combination, we're not getting one thing. It's normally like a burger, fries, and a drink. It's a bunch of things together. That's a combination. All right, so when we do a combination, it's not just one punch, it's not just the jab or just the cross. It's a whole bunch of moves together. Yes, sir? Okay, so if I do a three move combination, jab, cross, hook is a three move combination. Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Okay, good deal. So the big part of this is remembering all the moves we're going to do. So we're gonna do a three move combination a six move combination, and then a nine move combination. So everybody stand up. All right, we're gonna do this together. We're gonna start a three move combination. And ready stands. So our three move combination is just gonna be jab, cross, hook. Couple things before we start though. Remember, when I'm in my ready stance, the jab is with my front hand, the cross is with my back hand, and the hook is also with my front hand. So if you're right-handed, it should go left, right, left. So I go left punch, right punch, left punch. My left and right punches, my jab and my cross are straight punches, but my hook is a curved punch. It comes around the side, kind of like we're stirring a big bowl of cereal. All right, so when I say go, I want you to throw a jab, cross, and hook. Everyone get ready, set, and go. Each, each, each. Good, we're gonna do it again. Make sure on your hook, I'm not just turning my wrist. Some of you are turning your wrist and throwing your punch like this. If I punch like this, 
my hand like this, it's gonna bend my wrist, it's gonna hurt all the little muscles in here. So I want my arm to be strong, I'm flexing my guns, okay? I don't wanna bend my wrist at all, I want my arm out straight, I'm throwing it that way. So one, two, three, ready, set, go. Each, 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 nice, much better. Take your time, you don't have to go as fast as me. Ready, go, each, each, each. Good, nice Mateo. Make sure whatever hand we're punching with, the other one, if you don't drop it, we gotta keep this hand protecting our face in case the bad guy tries to hit us. Ready, set, go. Each, each, each. Nice, Emma, very good. Only three punches. One last time, one last time. Everyone get ready, hands up. And go, each, each, each. Excellent, good job. All right, actually I think I wanna stick with just three move combos today. I want us to master a three move combo before we go any higher than that. But now we're gonna do a kicking three move combo. So we're gonna do one more three move combo today and we're gonna try a kicking one. So here's our combo. Everyone watch this really quick, watch first and then we'll try it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do push kick, other leg push kick, roundhouse kick. So we're gonna go push kick, push kick, roundhouse kick. Push kick, push kick, roundhouse kick. All right, be careful. <laughs> Be careful, Par family. Make sure you don't kick each other by accident. When I do my kicks, remember, we're in a chamber. But say chamber. That means I'm going to bring my knee up before I kick. I don't just swing my leg up. Uh, that's not going to push anything. I need to bring my knee up first, and then my foot comes out. So three kicks. Push kick, push kick, round kick. Ready. Set. Go. Push kick, push kick, round kick. <laughs> Careful on that spin, you don't have to spin. If the spinning's gonna make you fall down, don't do it. Ready, set, go. Push kick, push kick, round kick. Nice, 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 nice. Now some of us, when we're spinning for that round kick, our foot's up and we're hitting this way, that means I'm hitting with the inside of my leg, that's really soft. So make sure we always point our toes out. That way I can point my toes here and I'll be hitting with the front of my leg with my shin bone and not the inside of my leg where all the muscles are. It's gonna be really soft. One more time. Ready. Good race hands, race hands. And go. Push kick, push kick, round kick. Good job, good job. Everyone's sitting like a black belt. Crisscross applesauce. Excellent work today, everyone. So, before we have our game, we have one more thing we have to do. Who can raise their hand? Tell me what else is the last thing we have to do. All right, we're going to go over to Trisha Jack. Yes, ma'am. What's the last thing we have to do? Um, our normal martial arts. Not our normal martial arts. Uh, if you're talking about drills, there's something we do at the end of every class but before we play our game. Over to Miss Bailey. Bailey, what do you think we do? Um, stripe test. Stripe test, very good. Now today's stripe test is gonna work a little bit differently. Normally we do our stripe tests in class, but I wanted to do a special thing to get us ready. So something we're gonna start doing every week is we know a lot of you are at home with a lot of spare time, maybe some of you are aboard. So we're gonna start doing some special challenges and some of the challenges are gonna have special prizes that you can win for or enter into to win for doing them. But today's challenge is gonna be our stripe test. We talked earlier, Makai gave a very good definition about self-discipline. It's doing something when someone's not watching, not listening, or you know, not telling you, it's doing it on your own. That's exactly right. A lot of us only do what we're supposed to do if mom and dad tells us or if they're watching or if they say, hey, do this and we can go, you know, some kind of prize. But we shouldn't do that just because of some prize. We should do that because we want to do it or it's the right thing to do. So here's my challenge. Every single morning this next week, so today's Tuesday. So from today, Tuesday, all the way until next Tuesday. Every morning you wake up, 
my challenge is for you guys to clean your whole room. Now that might sound easy for some of you guys that clean your room already, but mom and dad, families, if you're listening, remember it's a self-discipline challenge. I don't want you to remind them at all. At all. Unless it gets really bad, you need a clean day sap because you're afraid they might get hurt or something. Then you can tell them to clean your room. But if you're worried about the stripe, I don't want you to remind them. I'm looking to see which of our students can remember because they're very smart. And we all know that they want something, they will bug us until something happens, right? <laughs> so they want their stripe. It's their responsibility. I want them to wake up, clean their room every single day this morning. And you can either send us a picture of the clean room. You can send us a text saying, yeah, they did it. We're going to take your word for it. I don't think any parent would lie just for a stripe. I want to see which student can remember to wake up, clean their room. If it's a bit right after the wake up, but, you know, soon enough, every single day. Yes, sir? Which means if we forget and a day goes by, we didn't clean our room, then we fail our stripe test today. We do not, or this week, we do not get our self-discipline. So cleaning our room is very easy. And all of us should be picking up our toys and making our bed and that kind of stuff anyways. We're all big boys and big girls. I got three and four year olds that make their bed. I know you guys can do it. Yes, sir. All right, now who's ready for game time? Raise your hand, who's ready? Who wants to play a game? All right, I wanna play a game. Now, I want you guys to vote, so hands down. You're gonna have to vote. There's two games we can play. You can only vote one time. We can either play, and we're gonna use the whiteboard for our game day. We can either play Hangman or we can play line by line. Hangman is a game where you guess a word. I write a word down and give you clues about it. You have to guess what it is. Line by line is kind of the same. But instead of guessing the word, I draw a picture. And as I draw it, I'll draw a line. And then you guys make a guess. And I'll draw another line. So every line I draw kind of gives you guys a clue as to what a picture is. and gets a little easier. So if you want to play Hangman, raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Well, we only have seven people in here, so Hangman wins. We're going to play Hangman today. All right? So I'm going to get the whiteboard set up here. I'm going to unhook this really quick. I'm going to go close. I'm going to spin this around here. Ha-ha! Whiteboard ready. Magic. So now I'm going to set up our little thing here. Okay, so if you have not played Hangman, it's super simple. We're gonna go fruit. So here's how it works. Can anybody see that okay? Not quite. One second, let me make it a little bit better. Get over here. Oh, if you haven't played Hangman before, I give you guys a hint. So the word I'm gonna write is gonna be some type of fruit. Now, every time you guess a letter wrong, I start part of picking part of a person to draw. If I draw a whole person on here, you guys lose. You guys get no more clues. So make sure you have good guesses. You can either guess a letter that's in the word, or you can guess the whole word if you think you know what it is. But I suggest guessing some letters first so you can. So I'm going to draw a couple of. What fruits do I want to pick? I'm going to pick, hmm, hmm. Eh, that's kind of cheating. Ugh. I don't like it too difficult. I'll use this one. Okay, so this fruit has six letters, six dashes. So raising your hand, who can make a guess what letter is in this fruit? You can guess any letter of the alphabet, or you can guess the fruit. I saw Emma's hand up first. Let's go over here to Emma. Emma, what letter or fruit do you think it is? B. B. There is no letter B. So I'm gonna draw the first little part of our person there. Nice guess, though. Nice try. Let's go ahead and go over to Makai. Makai, what letter do you think's in there? A. A. I'm sorry, but there's no letter A. Wow. 
So that's going to be our little body. Nice pick, though. Um, over to Mateo. Mateo, what letter do you think? R. There is an R. In fact, there are two R's. Okay. Does anyone? I'm going to go over to Judd. Judd, do you know what letter or what fruit this is? Um, a J. A J? Nice guess, dude. But there's no J. Nice try. Nice try. Now we'll go over to Dylan. Dylan, what letter or fruit do you think this is? What letter? G? I'm sorry, what was that? It's a G. Oh, G? I'm sorry, not a G. There's no G in there. So that means we got two more strikes. Two more strikes. Okay. Who next? Who's next? We'll go over to Bailey. Bailey, what letter or what fruit? A H. There is an H right there. Good job. That might be a big clue. Next up, we're going to go over to Makai. Makai, do you know the letter or fruit? Uh, you know the fruit or the letter? S. What? No, C. D as in dog? No, C. Do you know oh, the fruit? C. Do you know the whole fruit? Do you know the whole fruit? Tell them. Cherry. Yes, you are correct, sir. It is cherry. Good job. Good job. Round one, winners, Makai. Good job. There's a lot of great teamwork, a lot of great guests. We can go again. We got time for another one. All right. We got time for one more, I think. All right. Do you guys want an easier one or a hard one? Give me a thumbs up if you want a harder one. Give me a thumbs down if you want an easier one. <laughs> All right. Uh, so easier one. Oh, man. Okay. I'll, I'll go easier. I'll go easier. So last time we did fruits. This time we'll do an animal. So this is some type of animal. And the animal I pick, I'm going to do, hmm, <laughs> we're going to do Okay. It's an animal with six letters in it. Animal with six letters in it. So we don't know any clues yet, so start guessing some letters first. Dylan, do you know what letter you want to pick? Um, T. T. Oh, you just helped your friends out quite a bit because there are two T's in there. Two T's. Somebody might be able to guess it already. I'm not sure. I saw Bailey's hand go up really, really fast. Bailey, do you know it? Turtle. So it's a turtle. Oh, turtle. Yes, turtle is correct. Good job. Good job. It was turtle. Man, you guys asked for an easier one, but I did not know. I did not know it was going to be that easy. Okay, I thought that I picked kind of a tougher one, but you guys got that perfect letter right off the bat. So congratulations, Bailey. You got round two. Dylan, awesome assist picking the double letter right off the bat. You must have been reading my mind, all right? So here's what we're going to do. Before we bow out today, quick announcement. Don't forget, parents aren't going to remind you to clean your room. I might give you guys a hint on Thursday if I'm feeling nice, but otherwise, we have to remember to clean our room. Yes, sir? Okay, secondly, this week I sent out a text parents with some more class time, some in the morning, uh, as well as in the um, earlier afternoon, I believe, on certain days. So if you would like to take advantage of those times, feel free to drop in. If you didn't get the text, just let us know on our text line. We can read it out to you. We are still doing our home training kit drawings on Fridays as well, just to keep things fun for all of our students. And we're going to start doing some challenges across the weekend uh, that we're going to put out as well. So if you'd like to do those challenges with your students, it's a good way to keep them engaged, burn some energy, have a fun time. Uh, doing martial arts stuff safely at home. Other than that, hope everyone has an awesome day today. So we're going to bow out. Everyone pop up. Standing up, standing up, standing up. Everyone standing up. All righty. 
Attention. Bell. Oh, very good job, everyone. Have an awesome day. Congratulations on the winners of the games. Good job on your drills. Stay safe. I'll see you next class. See ya, everyone. Have a great night. Bye-bye. See ya. Have a good day. Eat your vegetables.